A last minute consolation for the Glens from Just McBride was too little too late for the fans who gathered at the main entrance to show their disgust at a 4-1 scoreline. Cassidy's bought so many players. He talks about new strikers we want when he's bought five or six strikers since he's been here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what more does he want? The man has to go. Ultimately, the manager's got to take responsibility for the team. And if he, if he was a man at all, he'd do the honest thing and resign tonight. In three years at the Oval, Tommy Cassidy's best moment came 18 months ago when Glen Torn beat Glenavon to win the Irish Cup. The fans hoped for more success, but no trophies last season. And this season, two defeats by arch-rivals Linfield, this one in the League Cup final, have left the Oval faithful disillusioned. Tommy Cassidy told me today, I'm upset by last night's reaction, but I will not be giving in to the Boo Boys, and I will not be resigning. Glen Torrance secretary Jackie Warren was left holding the fort at the Oval after the surprise resignation of his chairman. David Chick declined to be interviewed today. Instead it was left to the secretary to release this short statement. The board of directors wish to place on record their thanks to David Chick for his efforts and dedication to Glen Torrance Football Club over the past 20 years as a director and the last nine as chairman. We would ask all supporters and everyone associated with the club to rally round and support the manager, staff and players in the important league match at Seaview this Saturday against Crusaders. Chick's reasons for standing down appear to be quite simple. He'd had enough of the supporters who'd abused him and manager Tommy Cassidy after recent defeats. Both were the target of terrorist taunts after the 7-2 loss at Portadown. After that it seems Chick decided it was time to get out. The club are sorry to see him go but one of the Glen's biggest supporters clubs isn't so sure. Well, I think it's good news. Uh, on a personal end and as a shareholder, I don't think the man's done anything for Glen Thorne. All he was worried about is moving ground. We have to put a proper team out on the park and be successful, and then you'll be successful in many more areas. When you've got a successful team, you'll get the support, and you'll get the supporters behind you. But uh, yes, the chairman had to go. And now, no doubt, the uh, manager's job is in jeopardy and has been since the last two to three seasons when she came to the Oval. One thing's for sure, the Oval is not a content place at the moment. The manager, Tommy Cassidy, remains under pressure in his job and he'll hold a special meeting with the players tonight in a bid to get Glen Torn's unhappy season back on track. David Chick on the right here has been on the Glen Torn board for the past 20 years with the last seven as club chairman. But recently, both he and manager Tommy Cassidy have become the targets of supporters' anger, starting after the 4-1 home defeat by Oma Town, and continuing at Tuesday's 7-3 drubbing at Portadown, when they were 6-1 down by half-time. A few consolation goals failed to calm the fans. Chick today said he's not going because of any intimidation, though admitted that perhaps the day has arrived for new thinking. He appealed to fans to get behind manager Tommy Cassidy, but some supporters are unwilling to do so. To them, Chick's resignation is merely a step in the right direction. The uh, position of David Chick we viewed quite separately from that of Tommy Cassidy. We have difficulties with Tommy's stewardship uh, as manager of Glen Torn Football Club, and we are uh, extremely concerned about the performances of the, the club of late. We do believe, to be honest, that Tommy should resign, but I think we will await developments in that one. The manager has been unavailable for comment today, though it's understood he intends to stay and return the club to happier times like the Irish Cup success last year. The fans are demanding that happens sooner rather than later. It's been a traumatic couple of days at the Oval. The resignation of chairman David Chick perhaps wasn't wholly unexpected. The chairman, along with the manager, has been the subject of constant abuse in the past few weeks. On well, last night, the Glens players held a meeting themselves and declared their support for the manager and the club. And today, an emotional David Chick added his voice to that appeal. I can take uh, whatever they want to throw at me. It doesn't bother me. But I have a family to think of. And uh, as my wife said, it's about time that you started to put your family first and football second. And that's it. Now, as far as Tommy is concerned, Tommy Cassidy has been with us two years. People say, OK, he hasn't done a whole lot. He had to rebuild uh, the football staff. And he has done that with the help of the board and the full backing of the board. He has also won, in the two seasons we here, he won the Irish Cup. And I mean, the season has only started. One trophy has been played for. He reached the final of that. 
but there are a certain element down there, and uh, you could count them in, in one hand, who will not allow managers any respect. And uh, as I said, the history of Glen Torn is littered with, you look back over, two of arguably the best ever managers, Tommy Jackson and Ronnie McFall, they were put out by demonstrations. And that's a sad thing for Glen Torn. And I would appeal to the genuine supporters to, for them to come out, and particularly this Saturday, and put their full back and behind the team and the manager, and let's get off to one and start. I certainly will be there on Saturday, give my back into the team. 49 years as a supporter, 20 years on the board this month, and nine years as club chairman. David Chick today thanked the board for all their support, and he also had a defiant message for those people, he says, on tent on causing misery. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be human if it didn't say that it uh, affected me somewhat. Mm. But it hasn't soured me against the actual club. It's the heart. It's the club, and people forget this. There have been players down the years. They'll come and go. Managers will come and go. Chairman, boards will come and go. We lost a dear friend in Tom McNeese there recently. But Glenn Turn will still go on. It's been going on for 115 years, and it'll go on for another 115.